So in this video, I'm gonna show you three ways in which you can stand out from the competition. One of the biggest reasons why I see people failing at Shopify is because they do things the same as everybody else. The harsh reality is the majority of people actually start Shopify or start a dropshipping business will actually go on to fail. So if you do the same things as the majority of other people, then essentially you're doing the same thing, you're going down the same path, and unfortunately, this will lead to you failing as well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three ways in which you can stand out from the competition, position yourself as the original seller, as a market leader for the product you're selling and ultimately increase the chances of your success. Before we jump into those three things though, it's important that we cover the reasons of why it's so important that we do things better than everybody else. So point number one, most people, especially drop shippers, looking to make money fast, unfortunately don't do things very professionally. So what this can mean is if you're sourcing the same product, whether it's from AliExpress, whether it's from CJ Dropshipping or another supplier, and you're using the same content to advertise that product, then if somebody sees this first company's ad first, they go onto their website meaning to make a purchase, but then their site is super unprofessional, doesn't look very trustworthy, and ultimately comes across as dodgy, then obviously they're gonna leave without making a purchase. Then the next day they see your ad for the same product using very similar content, using the same images imported across from AliExpress, the majority of people will probably assume you're the same business and they'll carry over that initial bad impression from the first company into your company. The next reason is so somebody chooses to buy from you versus somebody else. This is especially more important if you're gonna be selling more expensive products. Once you establish yourself as the original seller and the market leader for that product, then this can lead to point number three, which means you can sell it at a higher price. People don't always go for the cheapest price. The company they choose to trust with their purchase ultimately is made up from lots of things, which I'll cover in a video next week. So just to quickly recap on these three things, number one, most people, especially dropshippers, do not do things very professionally, so we don't wanna be assumed to be the same as somebody else in which they've already seen before. Number two is so people to choose to buy their products from us versus somebody else. And number three, once we establish ourselves as the market leader for that product, it means we can sell it at a higher price. There's loads of examples out there of established and successful e-commerce businesses selling products that you can source from China for a much cheaper price, and yet people still go to that business because of everything else that comes with it, the customer service, the quality of the product, and ultimately they just like the message that the business is putting across and the brand. So one of the first things we can do, and one of the main things I recommend everybody does when starting an e-commerce business is to take the extra time and invest the extra money into producing original content. It stops you blending in with everyone else for a start. So if someone's already seen, say, a dozen, two dozen ads for the very same products that you want to sell, if you have original content, it's much more likely to actually capture their attention. Number two, it makes you look so much more professional as a more established business. And number three, it makes you look like the original seller of the product as well. People will naturally want to buy from the original seller of the product because it shows you've been selling it for longer, it shows you more professional, it shows you more established, and therefore will have have a higher quality product, more trustworthy and better customer service. There's lots of places you can go to get original content. I'll put the main ones on screen, but there will be a separate video later this week specifically on this topic because the importance is so high. So the first three platforms I would go to are TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Find some small time influencers, a thousand followers, 2000 followers, maybe even less. Ultimately, just try and find somebody who is small time, but is comfortable speaking on camera, featuring their face and an actual real person. Failing that, you can go to Fiverr and hire a professional who does it for a living, but ultimately this will cost you a bit more money. There are some fundamentals to consider too when you're finding people to record this content for you. Just make sure they fit the demographic of who your ideal customer is. So as an example, if you're releasing a new fitness brand and you have a new fitness product that's gonna help people get in shape, then obviously you're not gonna hire somebody to promote the product that isn't in shape themselves. Number two is a custom theme or design. Now this can be optional if you're on a tight budget but it does come recommended. I have seen stores produce well in excess of a million dollars in sales simply using a free theme with the added use of third-party apps. Again, this will stop you blending in with everybody else if you use one of the most popular default Shopify themes and just leave it as the default kind of display, then again, it's gonna make you look very similar to the next person who's selling your product. Some recommended apps to take a look at. I'm not affiliated with any of these guys. I simply use them on my own stores to help develop my theme and make it 
look more professional. Number one is an app called Easy Tabs. It's a great way of separating your information in super easy to reach and quick tabs so a customer can find all the information they want at a click of a button and digest it super quickly. Number two is Vitals. It includes 40 different features all in one app and it's quite reasonably priced as well. Definitely check that out. They have some nice little features and touches in which you can add to make it just kind of look like its own professional paid theme in itself. Number three is a sticky add to cart button. Where this is handy is if you have a product which has loads of information in which you need to tell the customer, installing an app like this will keep the add to cart button on the page at all times. So whenever the customer feels ready to take the next step of making a purchase, then they don't have to scroll all the way back up. It just makes the purchase process that much simpler for the customer. Free trust badges goes without saying, if you put this into the Shopify app store, there's many different apps in which you will come across. Just make sure you find one that can fit in with the branding, with the colors of the site. And then a chat bot app. Having that little logo in the bottom right corner, meaning customers can reach you instantly, is definitely a great way to instill trust in your customers, answer their questions immediately, and even convert them there and then by private messaging. Moving on to point number three is contact information. This is something I talk about a lot in my videos, but again, I see it time and time again, people don't include this information on their website. If you're gonna be starting a legitimate business, you must have these things. So I'm just gonna take you through all of the things in which I recommend having on your site. You can get all of these things for about 40 pounds per month. And I'm gonna take you through one of the contact us pages for one of my own sites to show you how I have them set up. So first of all, to display this information, we obviously need a contact us page. Pull this at the top in the main menu so people can clearly see all the different methods in which they can contact you if they have a problem with their order. So number one is a telephone number. This goes without saying all legitimate businesses have a telephone number. If you do a Google search for business telephone number and then the country you're in, there's many different services that you can find starting at about five pounds per month. Number three is opening hours. This gives off the impression that you are an established business with an office that has people working with official working hours like any professional business would. It also means if somebody sends you a message at 8, 9 p.m. at night, then they won't necessarily expect an answer until the next morning. Number four is a business address, a physical address. You can get one of these if you're not comfortable putting your own home address for about 20 to 30 pounds per month. You can use Google search terms like virtual business office and there will be again a range of different services and businesses offering this for you. Next is a map of the location of where your business is established or the address that you have on your site. So if you have a virtual business address in London, say, you can put a map on your website which clearly shows the physical location of your business, which again, just legitimizes it that much more. You want to put in a contact form so people can send you a quick message there and then, super easy. And then finally, you want an email address as well, preferably a custom domain to match that of your site. So hello, at yourbusinessname.com or .co.uk. In your footer, I recommend putting your telephone number, your opening hours and business registration number if you have one. So here we are on a Shopify store which I'm building out to launch for the US. It's essentially gonna be a replica and copy of my UK store. So everything is gonna be adapted, but to match a US audience. So at the top, we have a dog on the headset. Obviously, it's quite a funny image. It helps people feel relaxed. It makes them smile when they come onto our site. Here at Pools for Paws, we're committed to providing excellent customer service. Last month, we responded to 93% of all emails within 24 hours. So that just shows we're an active business and that we're on top of things. If you have any questions or queries, please fill in and submit the form below. Alternatively, you can email us on poolsupports at gmail.com. I haven't created the email just yet, or simply call us on the telephone number provided. Or simply call us on 01427 dot 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 or write to us at physical address. Our customer service team is based in the United Kingdom and will always do their best to answer your questions swiftly and professionally. Then below we have the map showing the physical location of the office. This is where I run my e-commerce businesses from. And then below we have a very straightforward contact form which comes straight into our email inbox. So no matter what way our customers want to get hold of us, then we're providing an option for them to do so. And with that being said then guys, that covers all the information for this video. Three ways to stand out from the competition can't stress enough the importance of doing these things and the differences they can make. Even if you've been running a business for a few months now and you're making a profit and there's still some of these things which you haven't implemented yet, thoroughly recommend giving them a try and at least split testing them to see the difference in your business. If there's one thing I can guarantee, I would say that original content can literally transform your business. And with that being said, that wraps it up for this video. If you're still with
always means to watching. Thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to see more content, please do make sure you drop a subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that like button. Anything you feel like I missed or any questions on anything, just drop them in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. One final thing then before you go, if you are looking for a program to take you from day one from scratch as a complete beginner, all the way up to having a fully fledged and functioning Shopify business, make sure you check out my Ecom Academy. There'll be a link in the video description down below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.